The next program I would like to talk about is the NET scheme in Hong Kong. NET stands for Native Speaking English Teacher. And this program has been implemented in public sector secondary and primary schools in Hong Kong since 1998. So it's also quite a um, long established program. The teachers under this program, they either work as primary NETs or secondary NETs. So there's also two options. Um, the appointment of a NET will be a two-year contract. Um, and it normally starts in mid-August and ends in mid-August two years later and is subject to renewal after expiry. So you can renew under this program if you want to. I actually know somebody who worked under the NET scheme in Hong Kong, and it was great. They loved it. They were there, I think, two years. I'm not sure if they renewed. And she was there with her sister, which was also really great. So they were both in the NET scheme. They didn't live together, though, because they worked in different parts of the city, because you also get your apartment from your school, basically, or from the scheme. But um, yeah, I just thought that was great. You know, both sisters living in Hong Kong under the net scheme, that was great. So let's take a look at primary nets versus secondary nets to find out maybe which one fits you better. So primary nets, um, to teach they teach English to Hong Kong students and assist in teacher and curriculum development in public sector primary schools for students aged between six and 12. So that's basically the difference. As a primary net, you teach uh, kids aged six to 12. And as a secondary net, you teach English to Hong Kong students in the second in secondary schools uh, to students aged between 12 and 19. So it depends on, you know, do you prefer teaching younger kids or older kids and also your qualifications. So let's take a look at the requirements. The requirements for the NET scheme in Hong Kong, you need to be a native speaker of English or possess native speaker English competence. So in this program, they actually never mention any sort of uh, citizenship, nationality. They don't care about that, but you need to be a native or near native English speaker. You also need to have a TEFL or TESOL qualification, a bachelor's degree in any subject. And for non-native speakers, who do not, who have not acquired the language early in childhood are also suitable for the employment as nets. So that's also great to know. If you're a non-native English speaker, um, but your English is good, you know, near native level, you're very fluent in English, then you can also apply for the NET program in Hong Kong. Um, yeah, the official website is right there. It's a little bit, um, confusing but if you or you can just google type in net uh net scheme hong kong and then if you see this website edb.gov.hk you can click on that and that's the official site um about the pay so there is a monthly salary of between 25,000 and 60,000 hong kong dollars which is currently between 3,200 and 7,700 US dollars. So that's pretty high. That's a really good salary. But Hong Kong is also a little bit expensive. But um, still, it's a pretty good salary. They also assist you in finding suitable accommodation and they give you a housing allowance of around 20,000 Hong Kong dollars. So I have to correct myself because I said, um, I earlier said they give you housing. They do not give you housing for free. They help you finding housing near the school and you get a housing allowance. Um, so yeah, but that's why the salary is so high, I assume. Salary is really high, plus the allowance that will cover your, um, your rent. And if you're looking at the numbers, so it says 25,000 Hong Kong dollars is around 3,200, uh, 25,000 Hong Kong dollars is around 3,200 US dollars and the housing allowance is 20,000 Hong Kong dollars. So that's a lot, actually. That's a pretty big stipend. So that probably covers a lot of your rent depending on where you live. Um, yeah, then they also give you paid round trip airfare from your home country um, to Hong Kong and then back. And you can also bring up to four family members, which is really cool. 
Um, they also give you a relocation allowance to assist with the transport cost of your personal belongings. So if you're moving with your whole family and you bring all of your stuff, they help with that. And you also get a stipend for medical insurance coverage. So that was really, that's really interesting. Yeah, so that's that about Hong Kong. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.